Tell you what, let's let's flip for the office. Heads I win, tails you lose. Nice try. Tails I win. Fine. Too bad. Best out of three. Okay. I win. You know what? Let me see that coin. Your phone. Give it, Todd. Wait for me. Let me see it. I don't know what you've done with the coin, but they're both heads. I know it. Well, you didn't say what kind of coin to use. Since you have cheated, you forfeit your right to this office, okay? Get packing, boss. It's mine. It doesn't matter whether you're an adult or a teenager. It's, it's hard to let go of somebody that you love. And believe me, I know. <sighs> you're just saying that to make me no, feel better. No, I am yes, not. Yes, you are. No, I... Look at you. Men fall all over themselves to be with you. Christian did. Sweetie, that's not how Christian well, and I got together. I know you didn't steal him, but still, he fell for you. I mean, you could have any man that you want. Well, sometimes it's too bad that... You don't want them. Well, who do you want? Well, it actually, it's not a matter of who I want. It's just, I don't know, it's where I'm stuck. I mean, you might even know him, Uncle Todd. But you guys got divorced. Yeah, I, I thought... I know, but letting go of him, even trying to let go of him, has practically killed me, and it's made it very difficult for me to even have another relationship with someone else. On the Todd front. There is no Todd front. We're over. Well, he's still Danny's dad. That means he's going to be in your life for a long time. If you've got something to say, Eli, why don't you say it? Any chance of you and Todd getting back together? No. You sure? <laughs> why the sudden interest in my love life? Just making conversation? Oh, I see. So what about you? You can't spend all your time losing cases for your clients. <laughs> you never quit, did you? You didn't answer my question. Are you seeing anyone? I was. Mm. But it was uh, nothing serious. Mm -hmm. Where is Danny right now? Oh, she's probably upstairs engaged in a text-a-thon with Matthew or Destiny. Why don't you give her a call? Tell her me to meet us down at the restaurant. Dinner's on me. Hmm. I know that you feel like you're stuck in the past, but but you're not. I mean, you've got a whole life out there, a whole future. All you have to do is get out there and grab it. You need to find out who you are and what you want and what makes you happy. And just forget about love. No, I didn't say that. I, you just maybe need to find somebody else. <laughs> there is no one else. That's where you're wrong, because I happen to know a wonderful guy out there who wants to love you. I'm really glad you showed up. Me too. Looks like I showed up just in time. Have you seen Jess by any chance? Yeah, yeah, I left her back at the high school. So I'm just supposed to magically fall in love with this new guy? How, how do you expect me to do that when you can't even do it yourself? Well, snap. You got me on that one. <laughs> You're absolutely right. And you know what? You have made me see the light. Thank you, sweetie. I'm going to take a quick shower while you're waiting to hear back from Danny. Sure, go ahead. It's me. Um, listen, I just want to apologize about before. I don't even know what I was thinking, and I want to make it up to you. So I want you to put on your best duds, because I'm going to take you out for a very hot date. Okay? I just got a text from Daniela. She's, uh, she's having dinner with Matthew, so it's just you and me. All right. It's a date. Sure, it's a date. And I promise not to talk about the case. When I got to Skyler's, things went from zero to out of control. What does that mean? It got, it got ugly. We 
threw some punches, made a lot of threats. Punches? With Sierra right there? No, no, no. She was in the other room with Rachel. She wasn't around any of it, oh, I swear. Of I don't believe her. I know. It, 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 it doesn't make it right, but gee, I, I couldn't stand that he had her. I just wanted to grab Sierra Rose and bring her back to you. Thanks. I do appreciate everything you're doing for me and Sierra. You're a great mom. Sierra deserves to be loved the way I know you'll love her. You'll make her happy. And she'll make me happy. And that's all I want. Just for you to be happy. I'll do whatever I can to make sure that you are. You want to know if I have drugs in the house? Yes. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't exactly know what you mean by that, Miss Pacifico. <laughs> I'm an aspirin. Prescription meds. <laughs> I mean, even though this baby is still an infant and she couldn't possibly open those childproof tops, the form says the drugs need to be in a lockbox. Yes, I, I, I will make sure that they are. <laughs> now, for the fun part. May I hold her? Uh, oh, uh, she's been shuffled around so much today, I... I... I don't know. That's absolutely correct. Good answer. I was testing you. <laughs> I've, do I have something on my, on my face or...? Just that same look your mother had when she was nervous. You knew my mother? 